Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic is waffle charts. I haven't done these for a while because I don't like what you have to do to create them. But I'm going to show it to you here today because I've had some requests. Please subscribe, please leave a notification, and go check out my Patreon page. First thing we're going to need to do is create a secondary data set that has 1 through 9, actually it's 1 through 0, and 0, 1 through 9. 0 through 9. You need that in a separate data set. So we'll come over to the waffle chart. We have this waffle chart. This is the separate data set. I've got a couple items here. I'm going to bring the x coordinate to columns. I'm going to bring the y coordinate to rows. And then we are going to, it's only showing one dot because all the data is aggregated. So we're going to come to under analysis, turn off the aggregate measures. And we want to change these from circles. I suppose if you want to leave them as circles, you can. I want squares. Come to size and we play around with the size a little bit. This is going to be a little bit tricky. This will be good enough for what we're trying to do here today. So now we have our waffle chart. Now what we want to do is start getting the squares shaded. And just for purposes of what we've got here, I went ahead and um, had created two dummy values, an X color and a Y color. I'm going to drop those under the tooltip. So as we go through, you'll be able to see what they all are. All right, so now to change the color, we are going to create a calculated field. And I'm going to call this shading. And I'm going to say if the Y color or if the Y coordinate is less than the Y color, then we're going to just say call it true. Else, false. And that should get, I'm going to walk you through step by step so you can kind of understand what's happening. And we're going to bring the shading over to the color. And that's great. We've got a color of four. We should have four bars that are colored. One, two, three, four. Now we need to get the X color. The coordinate is two. The X color is two. So how do we get that? Well, we, it's actually going to be, it's a two-step process. We're going to add a else if the Y coordinate is equal to the Y color, all right? So this is assuming we have a four to two like we do now. We want the four colors to be highlighted. And then on the row that is four, and it's the same coordinate, we just want two to be highlighted on the X axis. And so we're gonna do a similar formula here, except now we're going to be using X. We're just using true, and you could use something else if you wanted. All right, so we hit apply, and now you see those two dots, which is exactly what we would expect. All right, go ahead and play with that a little bit. Now we're going to take it to the next level. Uh, so we have this other data source in here, and it's PGA players and it's age. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just replace, instead of this Y color, we're going to replace it with the age. And this is going to be where it gets a little bit exciting. We type in age. That's You can see that's what we want. It's from that data source. Um, when I hit yes, you're going to have something on your end that pops up and says, hey, there's not a relationship between these two data sets. That's going to cause problems. That's okay. Now, I know from before, previous experience, this needs to be an average. And I want to get this so that it is just, we're going to divide it by 10. And so we want just the 10th place, the 10 value. And so we're going to copy this down to every place where we had Y color. Paste it there. And how do we get the X? Good question. Actually, there is something called, I believe it's called the modulus. 
if you do a percent here, instead of taking uh, this value and dividing it, this will give you the, res the remainder. So if you had 35% divided by 10, it will give you the 5. All right. So go ahead and look that up in um, my other videos, modulus, M-O-D-O-L-U-S. All right, and so we'll see that we're getting an error. What's the error? Can't mix non-aggregate and aggregate. All right, if you'll remember from my other videos, what we're going to do is we're going to actually trick the Tableau into thinking that this is an aggregate function. Now, you may think, well, max, I know I've got 9 is the max number on x coordinate and the y coordinate. That's going to cause problems. It's not because this is being evaluated at each individual level, each individual record, and each individual record can only have one max value, which is also going to be the y value. Okay, so you see that the calculation is valid. So we hit OK. We need to bring the shading back over, so that's fine. I thought I had it here. There we go. And now what I want to do is I'm going to come back to this main data source and I'm going to bring in players here just so that, uh, because it's trying to do an average for everybody right now. I'm going to show the filter. I'm going to come in here so it just does a single drop down. And Aaron Bradley, let's pull, bring his age onto the tooltip, get rid of these colors. So now we can start to see if we're doing things correctly. Um, its age is 156. Well, we know that's not true. So come back. Let's change this in the tooltip. Sum, we're going to change it to average. All right, so now he has 39. Well, this is not what I was expecting because this is actually telling us 1, 2, 3, 4, 49. So there's a problem with the shading. And the, shade, the issue is when you do rounding and you round to zero integers, what is that going to round to? If you take that number, divide it by 10, you get 3.9, you're rounding up to 4. So there's another cool function that we're going to apply here. It's going to be floor. Because there's some other options you could say, okay, well, let's just do one decimal. Well, then you start running into some other issues with this formula down here. And what floor is going to do is it's going to round down. And that's what we want. And see over here when it's doing the equals we want it to round down as well. So we press apply and now we have one, two, three, and nine. All right. Let's pick a couple different just to double check. And you can see this guy is 26. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll pick another guy, 31. And so now you have your waffle chart. And now you can do some uh, cleanup if you'd like. Get rid of these. And you have some formatting over here. I'm going to do the lines. Get rid of all the grid lines, all the zero lines. And you can kind of very faintly see that there's some axis rulers so we're going to put those on no as well and there you go there is your waffle chart thank you for watching leave comments and we'll see you on the next video